Hello everyone, we are streaming from the 2017 Global Sources trade shows and today we are very honoured to be joined by Mr Cameron Walker, President of Global Sources, Gifts, Home and Hardware Group. Welcome Mr Walker. Hi, welcome uh, China Daily to the show. Thank you very much for joining us. So my first question is, could you please introduce the Global Sources Gifts and Home show? Okay, so this is uh, about the 10th year that we've had this show. We have this show every uh, April and October. Um, and what we do is it's gifts, uh, gifts and home products. Right now we have about a thousand booths at, the, uh, at this exhibition center. And the positioning in the market, which is pretty important, is that we uh, find the newest, most green, and most creative products for buyers to source. So when we talk to buyers, we talk about curation, we talk about creative, and we talk about uh, design. So our sales team at Global Sources spends you know, six months every year in between shows looking for the most interesting products in mostly China, but also the rest um, of Asia. And then we bring them to Hong Kong to show kind of buyers from around the world in the gifts and home sector. Great. So actually, it's not just two shows every year. You have a lot of work to do after, after the shows. It's the most important work, right? The four days here is kind of what the buyers and the suppliers see. But it's really what we do in between the shows, finding the product and bringing it over here that either you know, makes or breaks the show. And we think that this time, um, today is day one in the morning, and we've had a chance to walk around yesterday and see the suppliers setting up, and I've had a chance to walk around this morning. We think the product is the best ever. So it's really exciting. There is some really cool stuff for buyers to see here. That would be great. And uh, we know that there are so many trade shows in the PRD region. So Global Sources is not only a only trade show, but what makes it different from other shows? What makes it stand out? Well, I think it's exactly, it's pretty much exactly what I just said. We are the only trade show that has 200 people in the market who, who you know, are directly employed by us, whose job is to find, uh, you know, find the best products. We curate. So we don't just say anyone who wants to have a booth here can have a booth here. We say we want them to have interesting products. We want buyers to come over and we want buyers to say, okay, I've never seen that before, or this is a new design, or this, you know, this supplier has special, special capabilities. Whereas other shows, um, you know, it's more or less whoever, whoever kind of wants to, go, wants to go can go. We also do things like when, once we find those new products, we have, we have special zones called experience zones where we put them on display. We give buyers some information about that product. Um, and we basically have more exposure for the suppliers uh, for the suppliers as well. So which means you are more committed and dedicated to deliver it a successful show. So it's not just a kind of I register, so I just come to exhibit. Okay, one more question is about, um, as you said, you've been doing this show for 10 years. So what are the new characteristics this year? What are the new features, for example? Well, we have two new experience zones um, this time, the living and, giving and living and giving zone and also the sports and outdoor zone. And what we've done is we've looked all over for, for really cool product um, and put it over there. So when you guys have a chance, I think you're going to walk over to Hall 1 and Hall 2 and kind of take a look at those zones. You'll probably see a lot of products that you've, that you've never seen before. One supplier's product that I saw yesterday, which I honestly never, never knew existed, was a, baby's, uh, a baby milk bottle, but the, the milk won't come out of the bottle if the milk is over 37 degrees Celsius. So, and people think about that and they think, is it, it must be electronic. It's not electronic, it's all uh, you know, plastic and metal, but uh, you know, it's, cert it's got multiple certifications, so it's good to uh, you know, export overseas. It's, this supplier has never been to a trade show overseas before, so this is the first time they've been here. You know, we scoured you know, China, we found this product, and now we're showing it to buyers. That's you know, one example that I encourage you guys to go take a look at because it's pretty cool, but it's one example of you know, 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 um, that we think you know, we, really only us do that kind of thing. We will definitely go there and see that kind of special milk bottle, milk bottle which is, I think, it's not going to be popular just overseas, but also in China, in the Absolutely. Chinese market. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so my last question is about your future plan. What is your strategy? What is your future plan? What do you want to achieve in the future? 
Well, we want to keep going in the direction uh, in the direction that we're going. We want to make life easier for the buyers. So, you know, with when it comes to our app, so we have a buyer app, a supplier app. We want to make it easier for buyers and suppliers to communicate at the show. So, you know, the new version of the app this time allows buyers to take more pictures within the Global Sources app, to scan um, to scan suppliers, to make notes about the suppliers, and then at night to download the list of suppliers that they visited. At the same time, suppliers can scan buyers and get their information. So there's a lot of tech kind of going, going on. We will keep moving in that direction and make that app kind of better and better. Apart from that, what we want to do is just keep finding the newest, the newest, the best products. We have, um, next time we're going to have a design award. So we'll be doing a lot of, um, you know, supplier design capability, um, you know, things. And we want to keep moving in that direction. We want the positioning in the market, regardless of whether it's the suppliers talking or the buyers talking, we want them to say, this is where the newest products are. This is where the coolest products are. This is where the greenest products are. I have to come to the show if I want to know what's going on in the gifts and home area. So it's not just an ordinary trade show. You're also very up to date and uh, you're embracing the new age of e-commerce. We absolutely plan on being on the cutting edge of the gifts and home, uh, you know, gifts and home industry. Thank you very much, Mr. Walker. We wish you every success and we look forward to the shows in the coming days. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.